Right. Anyone else wishes to speak on the main motion? Right here. Go ahead. Identify yourself, please. Mary Lou Strano, uh, 166 Walnut Hill Road in Bethel. Uh, I've lived in this town since I was eight years old. And um, I can tell you right now, uh, uh, um, I will never forget the first time somebody said to me, are you a townie or a schoolie? And I looked at them and I thought, what are you talking about, a townie or a schoolie? And this has been going on since I was eight years old. I remember there was a, a referendum where my parents went because there was going to be no bus service. And I remember that. I, I can understand the frustration of everybody in this place. You've got to look at it both ways. You're up here and you're being very emotional about how we're taking your email away. We're not taking your email. We're not taking your telephone away. But what we're saying is that we all have a right to the same rights. You have a right in a certain way. There's a lot of people here who may not have uh, computers. Or they're not computer savvy. Uh, don't they have a right to know that there is that, that meeting coming up, that, that, that vote coming up? You know, I mean, I understand. And on the Board of Education side, how do we know that something that electronically is being sent out, first of all, it can be taken in different ways. Two people can read the same thing and get something out of it that's different. Um, they can be swaying someone in a way that maybe they shouldn't be. And that is not fair to the other people in the town. That's all we're saying. We're not saying that just because, oh, my child is in school, you're, you're, you're ripping the, the whole world apart because we're asking for a postcard. We're asking for the same right you're getting. We're asking for the right to be notified just like you are. And that's all we're asking for. And I don't think, and that's freedom of speech. It's our right. And for you to stand there and say, we're going to be taking your hot lunch away because we're asking for a postcard? I don't think that's quite, quite the same. And again, we're all getting too emotional. But there are a lot of people, not computer savvy, they, they deserve that postcard. Thank you. Uh, I, I didn't get your name for this. Al Vargas. Okay, go ahead. Mr. Kravitz, I just want to ask a question. Wait, wait, because through the chair. Through the chair. Are oh, you question. can through the chair, yes. You can ask a question. Mr. Kravitz, do they have I've been living in Bethel for fifteen years. My kids graduated from college. They were never in this town. So why do I have to get Bethel High School, Bethel Middle School? Why do I have to get any literature from Bethel? That's a cost. I, don't they have a list of who's in the school system? and eliminate me from that junk mail. I do business with Focus Manly. Well, all right, would you like to answer that? So what you, you, you have, you, your question, you've answered your own question. Oh, I, no, but I didn't answer it. I didn't answer I, I would like to know if they have such a, uh, a list where I don't have to get this mail well, from I, I think the question's out of order. I think you okay. can take that up with Mr. Kravis afterwards okay. if you want to be deleted from a room. Okay. All right. I just said, Mr. Kravis, I said. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, I deal with focus mailing and listing. I don't know if they have a listing. I know if, if I want a listing of age, male or female, nationality, doctors, etc. They have it. I would like to know if they have a listing of how people in Bethel would like to have communication. But if not, I think you should send a postcard one time with a check off. How would you like? whether it's email, whether it's iPad, uh, iPhone, and that way, at least you send it once, you have a list of how they want to communicate, and if they don't get, they don't get it, that's their problem. They already, you already addressed that issue All right. by giving them the option. I see. Thank you, sir. Yes. Um, William Duff, 33 Long Meadow Lake. you got to speak into that mic, Will. William Duff, 33 Long Meadow Lake. I would like to encourage everybody here to support this uh, petition motion. Uh, one thing I'd like to say is that you know, I have read Dr. Smith's newsletters. It's fantastic. I only wish all of you could read it, and uh, hopefully in the future maybe that will happen. Um, but to the lady before me's point, there's a lot of people that do not use email. For example, my mother, um, she votes in town. You guys are entitled to that information, the same information that any special interest group or any individual group or segment of our town. Um, we're all equal here, so we should all have equal access to that information, in particular when it's time to vote. 
uh, we live very busy lives, and uh, if one certain group is getting an extra notification, you know, it kind of skews the results of democracy. So I would encourage all of you to come out and support this motion. Thank you. Thank you. Come up close to the mic so okay. that people hear you. Brian Terzian, 42, Long Meadow Lane. Um, again, I'm not speaking in any official capacity. This is just my own feelings on the matter. I think what's happened here is, is this is kind of metamorphosized into a school versus town issue, which I don't think it needs to be. I think what we're talking about here is the right for transparency. And I believe the school should have their rights to send their emails, but I also feel that my neighbor should have the right to be equally informed. And I agree with you, Mr. Nickerbocker, that it should be in wall, not wall or nothing. And I think it's simple to say that, I mean, the solution here is not to say we're taking away anyone's rights, because as a parent, I want Dr. Smith's emails, but as a neighbor, I want my neighbor to be informed of the same things that I'm being informed. So I think if we just put our heads together here, we can work this out in a way where all sides win, and, and the whole point of our government and what we should be expecting from our government officials is transparency. Because without transparency, there's no <laughs> democracy. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Okay. Why do you get yes, up close to it so they can hear you? Bruce Tibbetts, 38 Kview Avenue, Bethel, Connecticut. Those were great comments about transparency. I have one of these. I bet it's faster than yours. I get about 50 to 100 emails every couple of days. I'm here tonight because I got one of these. It has a stamp. It's junk in my mailbox, but you know what the difference is? I go, oh. And I throw it on the table, then I don't forget. Yes, I could set a reminder in my phone. But to the point at hand, that everybody gets equal information. I've lived in Bethel for 35 years. We brought four children through the school system. I was fully informed on what was going on in the school system when I had kids in school. Mm, I just want to stay in the grace of that information. Thank you.